a gentleman who's in the news often, or if he isn't, he's never too far away, the president of the Russian Federation. Let's take a look at some of the things he said. Quote, It is wrong to make anyone into an enemy. It is wrong to scare the people of one's own country with that enemy and try to rally some allies on that basis. So, the question you have to ask is, has the president or his United Russia colleagues been guilty in the past of the very thing he's denouncing here? He also said, it's alarming that military intervention in internal conflicts in foreign countries has become commonplace for the United States. I agree with that. US foreign policy is hawkish and has been for a long time. Putin says, We're no longer in the Cold War. Eavesdropping on friends is unacceptable. So, there you have it. Friends of the Russian Federation, you have nothing to worry about. Moscow's ears are closed. Russia's leader again. The point of conservatism is not that it prevents movement forward and upward, but that it prevents movement backward and downward into chaotic darkness and a return to a primitive state. Ah. Okay. No. That's not my experience of conservatism, here in the UK anyway. I guess things are done differently in Russia. Another quote. History proves that all dictatorships, all authoritarian forms of government, are transient. Only democratic systems are not transient. Whatever the shortcomings... Mankind has not devised anything superior. Once more, I find myself in agreement. His reading of history is correct. I'm sure the president is aware that his regime is widely regarded as being authoritarian and anti-democratic. And Russia doesn't tend to score so well with international organisations which concern themselves with human rights abuses. Here's a couple of warnings by Mr Putin for those with any silly ideas. Nobody should have any illusion about the possibility of gaining military superiority over Russia. We will never allow this to happen. And again, our military might is the guarantor of Russia's security and independence. Tough guy talk, yes? Well, Mr. President, as I'm sure you're aware, Russia's military might is a source of anxiety for leaders and peoples of other countries, neighbours of yours and nations more further afield. Tough guy talk isn't conducive to regional or global stability, I would suggest. Quote, our society, including the liberals, must understand that there must be order. 
That sounds like a thinly veiled threat to my ears. I understand that's just my interpretation and it could be taken differently, but come on. It is an interesting one to finish. In almost any country, probably in Russia in particular, it's fashionable to criticise people in power. If you come out in support of someone like me, you're going to be accused of trying to ingratiate yourself. Hmm. I think in some countries, fashionable can get you thrown in prison or killed. I don't think a man like Alexei Navalny is a strong critic of Putin's because it's so-called fashionable to go after what he sees as a corrupt government. Holding the powerful to account should be popular everywhere. It should be a right for any person to criticise another without fear of being imprisoned, brutalised or killed. But we don't live in that world yet. There is much work to do.